What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be going over all the brand new news, new news that was released with Diablo 4 Season 3. Let's get into it. So Diablo 4 Season 3, it has been a while since we got some information on Season 3 and that even includes the last video that we did which was just the devs just kind of briefly just tweeting at us and just hinting towards some new information. Now I know it's been a while since we did a Diablo video even considering our last one but that's just because the season kind of just faded into the back man and PoE came forward and there really wasn't a whole lot to do but now we got some information so we're gonna kind of just break everything down there was a full-on like trailer that they released which was super cool they got a brand new trailer that they released with this so if you guys want to check that out all the links to this stuff is going to be down in the description below but i'm just going to highlight all the cool things that they're adding and just my take and my thoughts and opinions even though that doesn't really matter on this upcoming season because i've been such a avid diablo player since um the game has been at, or came out and then previously came out something like that i don't know let's get into it so season three we got a brand new season of the construct it is pretty pretty cool uh i'm gonna actually try to just zoom this in just a little bit for you guys it is pretty gnarly so it's the season of the contract if you guys watch the trailer if you haven't seen it it hints that zotan cool is back which is super cool all this is going to start on january 3rd or 3rd 23rd 10 a.m pst so that is going to start next tuesday okay a week from today at 10 a.m pst so for me it's gonna be 1 p.m est so, prepare to uncover the powerful secrets of Zoltan Cool's loom as the dungeon that calls Vaults. And we're going to get a seasonal robotic companion, which is cool. And we get additions to the weekly leaderboards in the Gauntlet, which, don't hold your breath, guys, is already delayed and will, will not be here, I repeat, will not be here at the start of Season 3. So, for all you guys that were really excited about getting into the Gauntlet and doing the leaderboards, you're going to have to wait about a month, okay? How does that tickle your fancy? All right. So let's go down. We got the codex here. We're going to break a lot of this stuff down and just kind of look at all of the brand new stuff. So we got a brand new um, depths of a new threat lurks beneath Kedjistan. Okay, this is where we're going to be doing all the brand new seasonal content. Okay, it's going to lead us down into some vaults. Vaults are going to essentially be our brand new um dungeons that we can do we're going to go down to a great hall and this is where we can kind of build up a base and we're going to be able to do the great hall and just do these um these vaults and just kind of try to take out all the seasonal content so we're going to battle aside with our first companion hopefully this leads to other companions in the future similarly to diablo 3 but we're going to get our very own um companion that's going to be along our quest line right and this is going to help us stop zoltan cool okay it's going to be really, really cool. I think I think having a companion finally is going to be nice. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to unlock magical governing and tuning stones, recover from the vaults that we're going to be running um, and other areas in sanctuary. So what these stones are going to be doing is they're going to be providing some buffs to utility as well as impale melee. There's some really good. These are basically like runes is what it seems like. And what these runes are going to do is, is that they are going to empower our companion but also give us some additional powers there's a full list of the governing snows in here for example there's an auto defense where it activates an anti-material field around itself shooting down enemy projectiles and it can shoot out um or cannot shoot down boss or player projectiles so there's some really cool i'm not going to go through them all but there's some really good stones here guys um tuning and governing stones to really help boost not only your companion but do some additional support effects for your character in season three um don't and let me just preface this now again season three we still get asked this question a lot you are going to have to create a brand new character and nothing from season two is going to transfer over you're starting from scratch all over again this is pretty typical all right so uh, with that, which I think is pretty cool, again, it's like some really cool stones um, that you're going to be able to put in here. You're going to be able to level these things up. And uh, then there's some Genesis and Evernight ones that are question marks, so we don't know too much about this. I'm assuming they're going to be really, really powerful ones and things that we can really get to kind of just make our characters just nuts. This is kind of like um, vampiric powers in a way. 
I feel like this is going to be a huge, huge discussion thing. It's basically just doing vampiric powers all over again, but in a different way and just slapping him on a companion. It's kind of um, lackluster, at least in the idea of the of the making. I don't know. You guys, I might be too brash for that. But okay, so uh, test yourself in the deadly new dungeon vaults. Okay. So you're going to be able to do, or Malthus has grew in strength, Harnings has some awesome power. So we're going to be able to go down and do these vaults. The vaults are specialized dungeons that house elemental uh, hazards devised by Zone Cool. Amongst the hazards lay constructs, which are these beasts here. Entitler, new monster family, which is cool. We get some brand new monsters. We need more. Um, and then we're going to be able to do just like kind of just go through this. All right. Upon entering the vault and after converting the required per pearls of warding, you are blessed by Zoltan's Warding, a special layered blessing which grants riches. Um, so essentially what you're going to be able to do, guys, is you're going to be able to go through these. And as if you manage to keep his warding intact, you'll earn or unlock Ward Woven Chests, uh, which has a higher chance of dropping legendary items using Pearls of Warding, which can increase the exchange rate for the stacks. Okay, at higher world tiers, you're going to be able to get these Vault Sigil Drops and be able to go do these, okay? Uh, it's kind of cool. It's it's kind of layering to like Greater Rifts in Diablo 3 to a degree, but I may be wrong about that. Um, now we're going to uh, staunch the spread of Arcane Tremors. So he seeks to do this. This just kind of adds on uh, to what we're doing. Now the leaderboards, I already mentioned this, guys. The, the leaderboards are coming to Diablo uh, for season three, but you are going to have to wait a month to do these. And as we already know, they are going to rotate every week and there's going to be new leaderboards at that bit disappointing here. Big L take for the devs over at uh, Blizzard because we have been waiting three seasons for leaderboards. And to me, one of the most or one of the coolest things for doing these is because like in Diablo three, when a brand new season starts, people grind and they get to like, Hey, I'm rank one in demon hunter X, you know, or crusader X, you know, witch doctor X right at the beginning. And then that's when it's the most exciting and people are really, really grinding. But then after, you know, two weeks, it's kind of just kind of fades out. It's not that big of a deal. It is what it is. So big L here uh, by making uh, the player base wait. Now, quality of life stuff coming. This is really interesting. Um, Hell Ties Endure, we kind of knew about this. Hell Ties are going to be active every single hour for a five minute rest. So they're 55 minutes out of every hour, which is cool. Um, and, you know, we'll be able to get more chances to collect the cinders and be able to go do Durial stuff. Definitely cool. This one is really unique. Enhanced movement with Wasa, dude. Wanderers and PC now can navigate through the various wastes of Sanctuary by using your WASD keys on your keyboard instead of your mouse. This is really cool. I'm actually really excited to use this. Uh, it's going to be different, but I think if it's better and it's enhanced movement, I think it's going to be really fun. Extra stash tab. Didn't see this coming. Kind of crazy that we're even getting it um but i am very thankful that we are that gives us six stash tabs uh i'm hoping that they just keep giving us more more and more and more give us more stash tabs we need to get to the point where we're like poe and we can just have a gajillion uh then there's other improvements to the skill tree there's a lot of skill tree changes coming class balancing changes coming improvements to ui for trading gold as well as getting items to summon the beast although i don't think that really matters he didn't really drop anything of significance uh but yeah stay tuned for the full patch notes that will be here january 19th also this thursday guys uh two days from now they are doing their live dev stream to go over all of this so be be sure to tune in to that uh the last things that we have guys is obviously battle or seasonal journey and battle pass rewards these are things are pretty typical nothing too insane but um if you guys are into that i'll still be getting the battle pass i'm still using the same coins that i got from season one I bought season one battle pass and as you go up you get enough of the coins you never have to buy another one i don't know why people trip about it like just save them and you can just buy the next one it's not a big deal if you're going to be playing for a month you're going to get all the levels anyway but i digress okay uh but yeah that's it that is pretty much it okay there's going to be the dev stream like i said at 9 a.m so it's going to be noon um you can tune in on twitch or youtube for that so uh, overall, my take, um, I'm, I'm really curious to see how much details we get for the quality of life stuff. Extra sash tab, big dub, really can't wait to try out a uh, Wasa dude for movement. Helltides, this is good for just overall end game activities for Durial because we are going to have to farm all of our uniques, uber uniques again if you do want to use them in the new season. None of those transfer over. So if you got them all in season two, you got to get them again in season three if you want to use them. Okay, just a heads up. 
Um, the leaderboard's big L here. Big L from the devs. This is probably going to be the biggest L out of all these notes, unless they say something in the dev stream. But huge L. This needs to be active immediately as the season starts, because there's going to be grinders that are going to want to get rank one. Okay. Um, as far as the seasonal theme, uh, we don't know too much here. We just know kind of how the stones are going to go in and just kind of how they work and you're going to be able to upgrade them and do stuff like that it's basically going to be very similar to just vampiric powers um i hope they they tell us a lot more before next week because first impressions of just reading these these notes very underwhelming very lackluster um as far as an idea and concept for a seasonal theme uh, and if that's the case, then that's a real bummer. It's only going to hold people over for so long. We're probably going to get another month of content, and then we'll get two months out of the season that everybody just leaves and falls off to other games. So hopefully there's a lot more to come. But yeah, guys, that's my take. Like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Again, all this stuff's going to be down in the description below. Let me know what you guys think of the brand new season of Construct for Diablo 4 Season 3. And make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification, guys. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.